Hello and welcome to Tarot Insights for the week of October 10th. October 10th. I started a minute early because dinner is waiting for me. And so, uh, you know, we do the best we can, but I don't want my dinner getting cold. So let's see what the week is ahead for the week of October 10th. Well, first of all, if you're at Cindy's Crystal Corner, there's a bunch of really cool crystals because I went to the gem show this week and went a little overboard. Color me surprised. I wonder if that was in the cards last week. I should look back and see. All right. Well, hi, Marty. And hello. As people come in, I will try to say hello. But if I miss you, no, I say hello anyway. And if... Uh, I don't respond, and it's after, say, 10.30, I mean, 7.30 p.m. Eastern, then I may just be, uh, you may be watching me on the rerun. Hey, Susan, glad you could join us. All right. Well, sorry I missed you when you came to pick up your stuff. All right. Oh, and Danielle, hello. Okay, well, let's get going. So what is the energy for Monday the 10th? We have a celebration. Um, it is a time where we are um, celebrating. We are feeling good about our accomplishments. Uh, we are looking at ways to create community, to create commitments in that we that bring us joy. Let's see about Tuesday. Hi, Mary Beth. Tuesday, we are saying, I am not going to feel like a shoe is going to drop. You know, I'm not going to live like that. Hi, Whitney. Glad you could join us. And, and Mary Beth, oh, I see a nice wave. So on Tuesday, we are not living in that anticipation of poop hitting the fan. It's like, I am going to move forward in life with the expectation that things are going to go smoothly. Now, this is not Pollyanna wishful thinking. This is positive reinforcing and moving forward in a way that we we may still be scared but we do it anyway and so we have our strength in our positive attitude on Tuesday. Hey Juno, glad you could join us. We are up to Wednesday. Wednesday we are working hard. Now watch out not to bury your emotions by working hard. So let's not use workaholism as another uh, escapism. Yet if you have a lot on your things to do list, Wednesday is a day to get her done because you are just putting the pedal to the metal and you really are focused on getting accomplishments done. So Wednesday is an excellent get it done day. Let's see about Thursday. Thursday, oh, maybe we overdid on Wednesday because Thursday is things aren't moving day, right? And so Thursday is not a get her done day. Thursday is a day that when, when life just puts stops in front of you, sometimes that means to stop and look to see, look around to see what is going on, what is wrong. Right before I came on, I was trying to type in, I messed up my my tax ID number in my records, you know, where I keep it so I have it safe and somehow I hit the wrong button and I deleted it so I had to go get my certificate and I was putting it in. When I tell you I had to do it like 10 times and I'm like, okay, what am I doing wrong? Because when you have to do something 10 times and it keeps erasing itself, that's a message. And so, you know, I had to keep rereading it. Anyway, we'll see what happens, but uh, I finally got it right, I hope. Anyway, okay. So anyway, so the message is on Thursday, if you're knocking your head against the wall, maybe there's a door next door and open the door instead of trying to get through the wall. Let's see about Friday. Friday is another, I am not going to have everybody's preconceived notions affecting me. I'm going to live my own reality in a, in a healthy way, right? You know, with eyes wide open, but I'm also not going to feel confined and tied in by other people's concepts, other people's beliefs, especially other people's beliefs of how my life should be. And so Friday, we are just releasing from a lot of either self-imposed or outward-imposed restrictions.
On Saturday, we are balancing body, mind, and spirit. Watch out for dentist issues on Saturday. Uh, but we are ba balancing body, mind, and spirit. We're taking care and ha it's looking at like, what have you done for your body lately? What have you done for your spirit lately? And making sure that there is some give and take and some balance there. On Sunday, uh, it may be a day where we're donating our time or our money or our whatever. Hi, Shirley. Glad you could join us. Oh, and Susan snuck in there when I wasn't looking. Glad you could join us. So on Sunday, we're in the we're in a giving place. Now, let's say you are in a place where you need to receive. You may find people around you, uh, whether it's an institution, organization, or just another person, may be more willing to um, offer some. Support. Support. So Monday is celebration. Tuesday is releasing uh, this feeling of dread. Wednesday is work, 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 get her done. Thursday is just stop and listen and wait. Friday is releasing other people's or self restrictions. Saturday is balanced body, mind, and spirit. And Sunday is either being of service, being generous, or being on the receiving end. Uh, but it is really looking at giving and receiving. And so I'm going to use some charms and we're just going to pull something for body, mind, and spirit. So what do we now here? I'm not even using a grid. I'm using Juno's charms. You can go to um, Sweet Gum Design. This is going to be backwards, but it says Sweet Gums Design on Etsy. And you can uh, get these um uh, charms. Anyway, I'm just going to pull a charm for body. Body, I get rocket. When I get rocket, to me, it's like taking off and flying, you know, going to new levels, going to new heights. And so you may find this is a great week to see if you can take, whether it's exercise, eating plan, any physicality things, because we're talking about body, to the next level. Let's look at, you know, mind, emotions, that kind of a thing. Well, I had two things pull out. I had the lotus and I had the tree. And to me, what that's telling me is coming into a place of calm and and groundedness uh imagining you're a tree you know letting your roots grow your your leaves grow high reaching high hi cynthia we're just on to our charms body mind and spirit um and and really recognizing that that taking time for peacefulness or yoga or or uh, meditation be really good. And then we have spirit. And spirit, I have this bird sitting inside its cage and it doesn't even realize that the, the, the door is open, right? And so let's look at spiritual self-restriction. Where are we caging ourselves in? Maybe that's saying a good person would never tell someone no, you know, or whatever, whatever misguided spiritual belief we have, or that, you know, we can't, we can't drop an F-bomb if we're spiritual. Now, we don't want to be bombing all over the place, right? But every once in a while, poop happens, right? So when we're looking, you may find looking at, oh, hi, Marta and Nancy, glad you could join in. We're just doing the charms uh, at the end. So spiritually, look and see if you are keeping yourself self-contained by rules that are really not applicable anymore uh, or something like that because the door is open to our cage. We are not restricted. All right. And that could also be looking at other spiritual beliefs maybe that you weren't raised in, not trying to convert you or change you, but just maybe to keep an open mind. So listen, everybody, have a great week. I'm going to go have dinner. Okay, catch you around. And if you're into crystals, I went to the gem show. And this beginning of the week, at least, is going to be all new crystals. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye.